Let me show you how I went from designs like this to designs like this using Kiddo. Let's go. So we're starting off here in Kittle. This is the homepage and we're going to go into my bookmark templates that I already have saved. And I'm going to go ahead and select this design right here. So we're going to select use this design and it's going to open it up to where you can actually start customizing this template to make it your own. So what I'm going to do now is as I'm looking at it, I'm going to start removing some of the elements I don't want. Like I know I'm not going to use that. And then all around it, I, if you can, whatever elements you want to leave on there, definitely leave on there like I'm going to do, but whatever ones you know for sure you're not going to use or have no interest in just go ahead and delete those i already have these pictures or the photos of michael b jordan uploaded into it so i'm going to just start putting them in the template where i want we're going to start off with the centerpiece you don't have to but this is where i want to because i want to kind of have everything working around this design so the picture you love the most which is this one for obvious reasons, that's the one I'm gonna start with. So I'm gonna start playing with the designs in the back and I'm gonna start uploading other um, photos of him that I have saved on um, in the uploads portion of Kittle. So I'm gonna play around with this background piece and this part again is pretty self-explanatory. All I'm doing is kind of positioning it wherever I want, but you see right here, it's cut off, like half his arm is cut off. So what I'm gonna do is move him, move this one to the back. I'm gonna position it behind him so you no longer see that. You only see kind of it going in, sitting in the back of this design. And of course, if you go ahead and just swipe over all of them, it will highlight all of the elements and you can move them um, as a group together without have to, having to physically group all of them. So just keep that in mind. That is a function in Kittle that was pretty consistent with any software program you have, but I just want to let you know that's how you do it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going ahead and adding the different photos in different parts of it. You can customize this part wherever you want or however you want. You can uh, make this larger or smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. That's the one. Um, that's all I did right now is just went ahead and duplicated. I'm moving this piece upwards because I want this one kind of out of the way, but I still want it as part of the design because I think it um, kind of mimics that. I wanted like a web page because it's like, let's get it. The search engine going online, Google, you already want, you know, that's what the look I like, what I liked about this template. And I wanted to keep the World Wide Web and having like a globe really as design. So again, always keep in mind the elements that are going to make sure um, or go with the design that you're going um, or you're looking at so this one like when i was putting this together is i was like i really want a world wide web design and kind of putting elements that are going to keep that because these look like little web pages and for this one i'm going to kind of minimize this because i don't want to take away from the star of the show which is his abs i'm just saying so i'm going to go ahead and duplicate these elements and i'm going to start moving them to the back because as you can see his arm right here is cut off so i'm going to kind of play around with these things and make him smaller so that i hide that so if you um, want to do that, just always just put it to the back or put it in ways to where you can hide it or put the elements around it so that if there's any imperfections with the images that you selected that you cannot correct yourself, go ahead and just um, position the other elements in front of it or behind it. So I'm going to move this grid line that is um, right here is going to be now sitting directly behind him and I'm going to go up in here and change the color. So I just wanted to get that hot pink because it's going with some of the pinks that are or the pinkish purples that are in his shirt in this main picture plus the picture to the top right so i want to incorporate these colors that are going to make sense to design and as always with kittle it keeps a record of all the colors that you have um, in the on the template so right here i'm going right back to the what is called the document colors so you don't have to keep guessing which one is which or what color you use or making sure it's precise it's already saved in there and then what i'm going to do is add the headline which is really just another way of saying just type in text so i'm going to type in michael b jordan and i'm going ahead and changing all the font and this has a plethora kiddo has so many different fonts you can choose from so definitely go and look at that there's so 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 many now what i'm doing is i'm going to move that one to the back stretch it out but then we're going to put a layer on top of it so right now what i'm going to do is duplicate this michael b so once you have it duplicated go ahead and pull it apart then you're going to go over here to the um option right here and you're going to click on the eye 
and it's going to hide it. But you're going to go to the next one where it says the border, change it to white, and then you're going to thicken it up. So by changing the border weight right here, it makes it thicker. So this is what it's going to make it look like there's an outline over top the Michael B, but it's also going to make it look like he's sitting in between the pink and then the white outline. And we're going to do the exact same thing for Jordan. We're just duplicating it, hiding the color, changing that outline or the border to white. We're going to thicken it up a little bit and then we're going to sit it right on top. So again, it looks like those images and those background things are sitting in between the pink and the um, white, which is a really just a, another cool little cute effect. You don't have to do it this way, but I just thought it was a cool little look and then here we go this was the final result when i sent it off to upload transfers to be printed it is a dtf transfer company that i go through like religiously i i really really love their work and they're really um cost affordable they're very affordable so i definitely suggest you check them out um they are based out of florida but they i just like i've had no problems with their design so it's been great and look at that peel Look at these colors, look at the pigment, and this was the effect that I was going for. I was so pleased about how this came out, and hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial about Kittle. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.